Hey there, I'm Lee Meyer, and in this video, you are going to learn six common myths that clothing resellers believe. These myths could be holding you back from being successful with reselling and making more money as a reseller. Hey, I'm Lee Meyer, and I'm the founder of Listing of Freedom and The Empowered Reseller. And I help clothing resellers make more money without hustling harder. Let's get started. Before we get started, I wanna give you my best brand list. A huge part of success with reselling is knowing what to sell, and so you will find a link for that resource underneath this video. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into these six myths. In addition to these six myths that could be holding you back from making more money selling used clothes, you're also going to learn five reasons why you should consider selling used clothes if you're not, as well as three practical ways that you can make more money without working harder. Let's get started. All right, myth number one that you might be believing about being a clothing reseller is that you can't make a lot of money selling used clothes. Now myself and so many others would tell you that this is absolutely not true. I myself have made well over $100,000 selling used clothes. Yes, used, not. That does not count new clothes. I do find new clothes occasionally, but the majority of what I sell, I have sold well over $100,000 just in used clothing. There's five reasons why you want to consider selling new clothing. The first up is that it is one of the fastest growing markets out there when it comes to used goods. People are looking to save money, especially in this economy. They want to save money and they're willing to buy used. It's also a concern with the environment and being willing to help out the environment by purchasing used. The second reason why you should consider selling in the used clothing niche is that clothes are easy to find. They are plentiful. You can find clothes pretty much anywhere you go. People wear clothes, people use clothes, people get rid of clothes. Third reason why you should consider selling clo used clothes is that they are cheap to source. It will not take you gobs of money to go out and make an investment in sourcing inventory. You can pick up clothes relatively cheaply. Even good brands, you can go and grab for you know just a few bucks, um, maybe even at a garage sale, 50 cents. So it does not take a huge investment. And I consider paying up. Even if you have to spend five or $10 on an item, if you could turn around and sell it for $100, wouldn't that be worth it? I know so many clothing res resellers who do not do this because they are too cheap to spend more than a dollar. The fourth reason why you should consider selling clothes is that clothes are easy to store. They don't take up a lot of room. You don't have to have a warehouse. You don't have to have big muscles or a truck to transport them. You can easily store them in a tote or even a dresser drawer. That's how I got started as a clothing reseller was in my dresser. The fifth reason to consider selling used clothes is that they are easy to ship. They're pretty much quick, stick it into a poly mailer or a flat rate envelope and you can be on your way. No having to you know, tape packages up and spend an hour boxing something up with all the bubble wrap and then worrying if it's gonna break. Clothes don't break, they are the padding um, and it is relatively easy. It's actually very easy to ship clothes. Myth number two you might be believing as a clothing reseller is that expensive brands are worth more. Now that's not necessarily true. And there are so many brands out there that you might spend a lot of money for at the mall, let's say. Maybe you went and bought a pair of jeans for $200 and you think that just because you spent that money up front that you paid that much money for them, that they're gonna be worth you know, a pretty good fraction of that amount when you go to sell it. That's just not true for most of the brands out there. And again, if you would like to know the brands that I would sell, I would highly encourage you to click the link below this video and get my free list of best brands. This is gonna help you know which brands are actually worth your time and which brands you're gonna be more likely to find when you're outsourcing. Myth number three is that you have to live in a city or you think that you have to have access to luxury brands in order to be able to make 
a lot of money as a clothing reseller. Now I can tell you based off of my own personal experience that I was believing this as a new reseller. I thought because I lived in a tiny town because I didn't live near a big city and I just had like kind of regular old brands that everyday people wear that I wasn't gonna be able to you know, be successful as a reseller. And six years later, successfully, successfully reselling and making over $100,000 in flipping used clothes, again, that is net profit, $100,000 net profit after all of expenses, after selling expenses, after sourcing expenses. I can tell you that this myth is absolutely not true. And I've seen it as also in the members and students that I have been able to help of my own. People who have lived in very rural areas and were still able to go out and find things in their area worth flipping. Now, there's a couple of reasons why this myth is not true. Myth, uh, the first reason why this is not true is that reselling used clothes, a lot of it is about brands, but there is a huge piece of it that may not be related to brands. So even if you're in a place where you don't feel like you have access to a lot of high-end brands, I know for me, I was looking at other resellers and saying, hey, you know, I never find Patagonia. I never find this brand or that brand. How could I be successful? Once I got out there and started sourcing, I found that there were things for me. Some of them were brand names, some of them were not brand names, and it was about knowing which items had their held their val value in the online marketplace. The second reason why this myth of having to live in a city or to have luxury brands is not true is due to the invention of this thing called the internet. You can live pretty much anywhere on planet Earth and have items shipped to you. So just because you don't have a Lululemon out your back door or you have you know, XYZ luxury company um, brick and mortar outside you know five minutes from your house doesn't mean that you won't find some of those items in your own lo local thrift stores so people are able to go and source their go they're able to go and shop online and get those items to their house even if they're living not near those types of stores Myth number four that you might be believing about being a clothing reseller is that it's too crowded of a market. Maybe you're looking at online marketplaces and going, wow, there are a lot of clothing items listed. Or maybe you're looking on YouTube or Instagram and you're going, wow, there are a ton of other clothing resellers. How am I ever going to break into this niche? How am I ever going to make sales? How am I ever going to stand out from the crowd? Again, there is room for you. I want to break this myth because the clothing interest industry, used clothing industry specifically, is expected to grow almost 400% over the coming years. So there is definitely room for new sellers, especially new sellers who know what they're doing and who are selling the things that people want. Again, selling the right brands, selling the right types of items is so important. Make sure you grab my free brand list so it'll take the guesswork out of this piece of knowing what to sell. Myth number five is that you may be believing that the algorithm gods are in control of your sales. Maybe you're believing that you haven't found favor with the algorithm gods or you know maybe tomorrow you'll find favor with the algorithm gods and you'll suddenly be making sales. Truth is there is no such thing as algorithm gods. I'm just gonna come out there and say that. Yes, there are algorithms behind each and every platform that you may be selling on. And these algorithms are running in the background and their job is to do one thing. The algorithms behind all of these marketplaces have one goal, and that is to serve up items to shoppers that want to purchase those items. The goal of the algorithm is to not is not to get views or traffic to your listings, is to get the right items to the buyers, the items the buyers want to actually buy. And so it goes without saying that you could have an item that you have got listed and if nobody wants it, it doesn't matter how many times you delist and relist, it doesn't matter how many things you do, it does not matter how many hoops you jump through, if people do not want that item, the algorithms are not going to magically send traffic your way and magically send sales your way. Sales happen when buyers find the items that you have that they want. 
You are in control of your sales and not the algorithm gods. And you are in control by offering end demand items to your shoppers. Myth number six that you may be believing as a clothing reseller is that if you want to make more money, you have to hustle harder. Now, this is one a lot of us fall trapped to, and it can work for a while. You can put in more uh, time, you can put in more hours per day, you can put in more days per week, and maybe see some results for that. But there is a better way. There are ways to work smarter. There are ways to make more money without having to hustle harder. harder. And, and I'm gonna give you three practical ways that you can make more money without working harder. The first way that you can make more money without working harder is to evaluate which platforms are giving you the most results. Now, I do not believe that you need to be selling on a gajillion platforms that you have to be cross-listing to every single platform out there. Chances are there's gonna be just a small handful of where the majority of your sales are com coming from. And so I want you to sit down and figure out, okay, which platforms are most worth my time, which platforms are driving my sales, and pick just a handful of platforms, at most three to five. I would not go any more than five. Anything after that, you're going to get very diminished results. And for me, the majority of my sales come from three places, with eBay far outweighing them all. So my top three platforms are eBay, this does about 90 to 95% of my sales, followed by Posh, sorry, followed by Mercari's in second place, and then in Poshmark. The second tip I have for you to make more money in less time is to sit down and have a hard look at what strategies you're using, where your time is going, um, and are you getting a result on those efforts? So maybe look at how much time you're spending on sending out offers, how many times you're spending on trying to delist, relist, how many times you're, how much time you're spending on, you know, creating an auction listing, um, and then having to relist if it doesn't sell. Go through those different pieces that you're spending time on and say, hey, is this worth my time? And I bet that you would be able to take a large portion of work off of your plate and still make the same amount of money. The third practical way I have for you to make more money without working harder is to focus on bigger and better items. You probably don't want to be wasting your time on five or $10 flips. Your time would be much better used flipping, you know, things that you can make $20 on or more. You know, even if you went $15, that's going to add up a whole lot faster than smaller sales. And a lot of it, again, comes back to brands and to knowing what to pe what people want. And so go ahead and grab that free brand list if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining me for this video of six myths that you may be believing that are holding you back from sales and money in your business. I'd love to know if any of these myths resonated with you. Have you been believing in any of them? Let me know in the comments which myth felt most relevant to you, which myth you could say, hey, I'm done with this. I am going to move forward and see bigger results and more money in my business. Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video soon.